When the economy is booming, everyone is buying, so every marketer looks like a genius. But when the world slows down, cracks begin to show. Marketing leaders need a reliable framework to evaluate their marketing strategy, to see exactly where it's failing and why. So what makes marketing work when it's got to work? First, let's get real. A buyer's decision to buy or not to buy is much bigger than a single marketing tactic. It's a process. The buyer's journey is a series of baby steps and great marketing can help a customer move forward one small step after another. These baby steps aren't linear. They're messy. There's a lot of falling, a lot of going back to the start, but it's not chaos either. There are patterns. Savvy marketers understand these patterns. They use them to dissect their marketing and make it better. Think of effective marketing as a wheel and at the hub of the wheel is targeting. It's tempting to keep it broad, to try to appeal to everyone at once, but the world is too noisy. Try to speak to everyone and nobody will listen. Focus is essential. Get clear on who your ideal customer is. Think about what he or she really needs. Your ideal customer needs a name. Let's call her Maddie. So how do we reach Maddie? It starts with attention. The first goal is to get Maddie's attention. We want her to stop scrolling and look, even just for a second. But her attention is expensive. More people than ever are vying for it. So Maddie has tuned us out. We must say something specific. Not something about you. Not something about your brand. Not something about that shiny object you're selling. No, to get Maddie's attention, we must say something specific about Maddie. Describe a problem she has or a result she wants. Your goal right now, your only goal is to get Maddie's attention. If you can't get it, go back a step and rethink targeting. If you have it, you're ready for the next step. The next step is to draw her in. Engagement often starts with a click to watch or listen or read or view. It continues when we say something that resonates with her. Tell a story she can identify with. Empathize with her problems. Show her what success can look like. Remind her of what's at stake. Ever so carefully introduce yourself as a trustworthy guide. You are a guide with a plan, a plan that can help Maddie. It may take a lot of engagement before we've earned the trust to move to the next step. The savvy marketer obsesses about how to bridge the gap between what gets her attention and what will keep her attention. Get this right and Maddie will be ready for the next step. So what is the next step? That's the question. Maddie is asking it too. She's ready to move forward, but how? She might be ready to explore buying. So offer a direct call to action, a clear next step that moves her toward a purchase. Our next step might be buy now, but that's rare. More often, it's something that allows Maddie to say, I'm interested, tell me more. There's room for one more next step, a transitional call to action. This smaller step helps Maddie learn more about her problem without talking about buying. When she responds, it's on to the next two steps. Maddie might be ready to buy today. You might break your solutions into smaller baby steps too, so she can buy without a lot of commitment. The key is to keep it simple. But it's possible that Maddie isn't quite ready to buy today. She has a few more questions first. So you must nurture her. Follow up, help uncover her needs. Help her walk through a buying process. Help her share that information with others who may have a say in the buying decision. Maddie might be ready to buy this afternoon, or it might take a week, a month, even a year. You need a plan to nurture people like Maddie along the way and to be there at the top of her mind when the time is right. After Maddie buys, her journey with you isn't over. You have a plan to deepen the relationship. You stay connected. You uncover more needs she has along the way. Maddie's trust grows. She keeps coming back and refers her friends. And the cycle continues. If your marketing doesn't work, assess it in these seven stages in order. Find where it breaks down and make it better. Don't quit until it works. You can do this. You are a savvy marketer. Inspire is here to help.